This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. What up, everybody? This your boy, JP. Today, we are reacting to another Prom Larry Bird video. I love his channel, man, because he be telling great stories. The best Larry Bird trash talk story ever told. If you looked at the thumbnail, you see Larry Bird and the other NBA players who are Caucasian and stuff. So maybe this is going to be about, like, having a Caucasian player guarding Larry Bird. But we don't really know until we get into the video. So Larry Bird is one of the greatest trash talkers of all time, if not the GOAT of trash talking. So definitely comment down below your thoughts. And then let me know what you want me to react to next. Make sure you subscribe to SJP for more content. Click the notification bell. You know why next upload is. Without further ado, let's go and get into the video. I'm excited, man. Let's go. For the better part of a decade, Larry Bird was the greatest basketball player the world had ever seen. He was amazing. And because he happened to be a white basketball player <laughs> in a sport that is mostly dominated by black players, every single time a new white player is halfway decent, you can bet your bottom dollar. Like <laughs> clockwork, the mainstream media will undeniably say, He is a new age version. Of Larry Bird. Mm. Like the reincarnation of Larry Bird. Larry Bird reincarnated. He's a 2K version of what Larry Bird would do. He's kind of Larry Birdish. He reminds me of Larry Bird. He's the closest thing to Bird that we've seen oh, since wow. Larry Bird. That guy reminds a lot of people, myself included, of Larry freaking legend. Wow. <sighs> Here's why Larry Bird would consider these comparisons disrespectful. Right. Because early in Larry's career, he was matched up against Tom Chambers, arguably the most athletic white player in NBA history. He was a great player. He just got hooked, though. He was an athletic man. He was a beast. Oh, yeah, Mark Jackson. Oh, Mark Jackson! <laughs> Still got nightmares to this day with that dunk. And right on cue, Tom Chambers' teammate, Xavier McDaniel, made that one dreaded comparison, even though their playing styles were nothing alike. I love Tom Chambers. I love it. I thought I had never seen a white boy besides Larry Bird play the way he played. This guy could play. But when these two mm. finally met face to face, at the very beginning of the game, Larry Bird hit Tom Chambers with one of the coldest trash talking lines of all time. What is it? Your main man was Tom Chambers, and Chambers was guarding Larry. And so in the jump ball circle, Larry walked through myself and uh, Chambers, and then came back. And told Chambers, I know you guarding me, and I want you to know something. There's only one man that can guard at me, and that's God. Damn! Oh, 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 oh man! <laughs> Yo, that is so cold and savage of Larry Bud. He said, there's only one guy that can guard me, and that is the Lord upstairs. Damn! Not the Tom Chambers. Come on, Larry, damn! <laughs> For a second, think about the confidence. Damn, that's confident. Yes. It takes to make that. Oh thing. shit! <laughs> think about that. Damn. Thing. One thing, one thing you got to give Larry Bird. He never stopped talking trash. Yeah. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Ever. But is it really trash talking? If you're backing it up, right? That's what everybody be saying. Damn, Tom. <laughs> I would love to hear Tom Chambers' story about that. I would love to hear that. Oh, look at Larry just. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry. <laughs> what are you doing, Tom? Come guard me. I told you guys the only one that can guard me. Come on now. Damn. In the famous words of Cat Williams, a Chrysler 300 does look like a phantom <laughs> until a phantom pulls up. <laughs> that game, Larry Bird destroyed Tom Chambers so badly that every single time an opposing team put a white guy on Larry, he made sure that they would never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even matter. <laughs> and not even Sigma. And Sigma was a good player too. It doesn't matter. Ooh, what a pump fake. God damn, Tom. Damn, Tom. He is letting him know. Man. 
Tom's having a long night. He found out. <laughs> no disrespect to Tom Chambers, but he's just not Larry Bird. And I guess everyone had to learn that the hard way. Give me a story, man, by LB, man. Larry Bird, man. I don't know how this is going to play with America. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but let me, let, me, let me just tell you what this dude told me one time, right? Now, all back line at, at one time it was Kelly Trapuca. Good player. Bill Lambeer, Ken Benson. Three white dudes. <laughs> <Ken Benson. laughs> all right? <laughs> so we walk out on the court, and, and he said, who guarded me? And I was like, you know. I got Kelly. <laughs> Destroyed. <laughs> Wop. <laughs> got Lamb. Bird. Baseline. <laughs> Destroyed. You really doing this? Isaiah? You really doing this, Cheesy? I got, I got Benson. Out to Ames. Bird has beat them all down the floor. Benson. <laughs> He's like, you ain't got no brothers? <laughs> Hey man, you can't put no white dude on me. Hey, 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 that is straight good. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna weld them out, man. Oh! Bird outside. Oh! Big hoop. Bird wants it. And got it. 47 for Bird. 47, damn. Comes away 132 to 124. Man. No white dude on me. So check this out. So the next year we come back, I said, I got somebody for your ass, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, said, yeah. I said, Robin. <laughs> He's still school Robin, though. He said, a little better. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. Hey, Dennis, you think he'd be playing in Europe now? You think he'd be playing in Europe now? You think he'd be playing in Europe now, Dennis? Come on now. <laughs> he's like, okay, he, he's a little better. Yeah. But don't ever put no white dude on me. That is disrespectful. <laughs> All right, here's Dennis. Gets it in the bird. Larry, a runner. Got it! Ball game's over. Boston wins. Why well, put Ken Benson on Larry Bull for the game winner? Now, I don't know how America going to feel about that. They'll be all right. What up, y'all? JPSL. I want to give a huge shout out to BetUS. If you sign up to BetUS today, all you got to do is click the link below the YouTube description. If you're interested in sports betting or you need a new sports book, BetUS has everything for you for the odds and the money line in favor of the NBA teams that's in the playoffs, for example. If you sign up today, you'll get a 125% bonus on your first three deposits. That's a hell of a deal. Here's how it works. So you get 100% for the sports betting and you get the 25% for the casino on deposits that's ranging from $100 to almost $3,000. I'm trying to tell y'all that is a hell of a deal. So definitely go sign up to BetUS right now and click the link below the YouTube description. Also, you'll get a 10 percent gamblers insurance man so man bet us is doing big things right now so what are you waiting for go ahead and sign up to bet us today and get you your best sporting book offs so you can win you some money but i think he said it in sports illustrated too yeah you can go get the quote in an interview with espn larry bird said the greatest athletes in the world are african-american so I really got irritated when they put a white guy in it because it's a disrespect to my game. And according to some white guys he played against in the NBA, he was not lying. Like when he faced Chris Mullen and the Golden State Warriors and they put Tom Tolbert on him. We're playing the Celtics and we're getting ready for the jump ball. And I'm starting, I'm guarding Larry Bird. And Chris is out there. He Hi to Larry, shake hands, blah, blah, blah. And Larry looks at me. He looks over at Chris. And do you remember what he said to you? He goes, You guys in a garden with a white guy? <laughs> <laughs> I looked over at Larry and go, Dude, I'm just trying to make a living, all right? <laughs> I'm just trying to play, man. He was unbelievable. He really was. They're trying to set the bird. Solo this match up, Larry. 
You do not do that to Larry Bud. I don't even care if you're making a living. You do not do that to Larry Bud. <laughs> oh, Tobit. Damn. <laughs> Counted for Larry Bird and he's fouled. Outstanding. Tolbert's working hard. Bird is scoring despite That's intensive good. defensive pressure from oh, Tolbert. He took a shot one time. I went up to you. I remember yeah, that one. You do? Yeah. I went up to you. He did the college thing. Shot. I go, shot. And he goes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn you, Bird. I thought it was a One hand stays and just. Yeah, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Tell you what, that ought to get told but it's up to the bench, I would think. Well, when he faced the Denver Nuggets and they put Bill Hanslick on him. The story goes that when he played against Denver, they had a guy named John Hanslick. You remember John Hanslick? No, I don't Six, know. Seven, Bill Hanslick. Got a really good defender, okay. right? He was a good defender. They put him on Larry, and Larry was weighing his ass out. Here's where you don't want to let Bird kill you. That's Ooh. Move, once again by Larry Bird. Hanslick just has not been able to play. Oh, what a pass. All right, watch him push and shove inside. Hanslick, who takes nothing off anybody, pushing and shove with Bird. Hanslick doing a good job denying, then picks up the foul. That's his fifth. <laughs> and Larry would run by the bench and tell Doug Moe, who's the coach, yeah, oh, yeah, right. get him off me. You're disrespecting me by putting the white guy on <laughs> <laughs> But that's Larry. I, I, he played I, back in the day. That's all he played against was brothers. Yeah. But that was Larry Bird. Or even when he faced Charles Barkley in the Philadelphia 76ers, and they put Bob Thornton on him. Oh, you know, I'm playing against Bird, who's a legendary shit talker. Mm -hmm. But Bird didn't talk trash to you. Oh did my he? God, Bird talked trash to everybody. <laughs> I remember one time we were playing the Celtics. Larry says, "Chuck, can I talk to you a second? I said, "Sure." What's up, LB? He says, "Yo, man, y'all being disrespectful to me. You guys are being disrespectful to me." <laughs> and I says, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Yeah, y'all being disrespectful." I said, "What are we doing?" He says. Y'all got a white guy trying to guard me. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> and just decided to wear him out. Again. Now they need to put a speed guy on Bird. That was a good switch by Thornton that time. He got there quickly, but Bird hit him anyway. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't said, enough. You guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> that was disrespectful. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. <laughs> Don't put a white guy on me. That's just fucking disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. And although Larry Bird definitely trash talked everybody, for some reason when it came to facing white players, Larry took the trash talk to a whole nother level of disrespect. Like when he played against Craig Elo, who was one of the league's best defenders. But Craig he's most Elo. famous for guarding Michael Jordan for the shot. this iconic shot. Yep. Hey, Lawks. Hey, Lawks. He gets to Jordan. He lows like this, and Jordan's going up and going like that. <laughs> but if you let Craig Elo tell the story, Michael Jordan was not the toughest player he had to guard. Was there one guy in particular you said, oh man, I don't want to have to check him. He's just the toughest guy to guard every night. Of course, you know, I can say the Michaels or the Reggies or those, but the one I really hated to guard was Larry Burt. Uh, he was not a nice guy. <laughs> A shot. Of course, a basket. Matter of fact, there was one game and he was having a pretty rough first half. So that night against the Celtics, I thought I was playing some pretty good defense on him. In the first half, he was like one for nine or something like that. I kind of puffed up on him and walked beside him and was like, yeah, you're one for ten. I was like, that's defense. Wow. And he just kind of looked at me and said, there's wow. two halves. There's two halves. And when we came out in the second half, that's when he told me, I hope your mom's not watching because I'm about to embarrass you. <laughs> 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 like, Why would you say that to me? <laughs> and he came back out and hit about 10 in a row on me. And the last one was left-handed. And he asked me if my mother was watching. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to embarrass me, so... <laughs> <laughs> Larry Bird once said, I wasn't real quick and I wasn't real strong, so I beat them with my mind and my fundamentals. Everybody mm. can dunk, 
but the mental part is the toughest That's why you got part. IQ, man. <laughs> Spoken like a true psychological assassin. That's why he Bird has a great a IQ. psychologically uh, assassin. In what way, though, man? You say that. How? <laughs> Check this out. It was 92, and we was playing the Boston uh, Celtics, and we was up one. He said, who's guarding me? As we come out of timeout, I says, Craig Elo. He says, why you got that white boy on me? <laughs> <laughs> he said, um, hey, Rook, tell Coach Lenny Wilkins why he got this white kid, Craig Elo, guarding me. You better put a brother on me. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put no white boy on me. He said that was the most. Now, remember, Larry Bird is white. Right. <laughs> I want to say, you know, remember, you white, right? <laughs> <You're> white. <laughs> he said, I'm going to go over here. Then Johnson going to pass it to me. And I'm going to head for it. And he let us know, I'm going to go over here with 2.1 seconds. And he'll tell you exactly where he's going to hit it. Come on, man. So, I'm like, the ball is going to right, but everybody knows the ball's going to right. Oh, yeah, of course. Everybody knows. Just do whatever you can. Craig, just cover him. Right. All Bird did was go like this. That was face against the ball. Yeah. And you know, his fingers was all broke. Right. <laughs> you know that? Yep. That little, yep. Bunk, little jumper. And he hit the shot. Oh, no, but jumping on right. He was getting them off of him like this. He walked off and said, Legend. <laughs> and then he'll hit it. And he'll walk off if you see some tapes. A lot of people was always jumping on him when he would make last second shots. But everybody was surprised but him. He was a legend for real. I get a charge when I tell something, I tell someone on the opposing team that I'm going to hit the last second shot and do it. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and he aims to inbounds for the Celtics, trailing by one, two seconds left. In the bird, he fires. He does! And the Celtics win! Unbelievable! Larry Bird at the buzzer! Larry Bird, a true legend. However, this last story is the best story because facing his arch rival, the Los Angeles Lakers, Larry Bird said one of the greatest lines ever because everyone knew that it was true. Well, I don't think everybody knows he's a big and crap poster. The thing with Bird was he was an undercover talk. Okay, like shot at Deep Brown. And then, oh, or he'll go to your bench and tell him to go to your bench. I think we were playing the Lakers and he was killing them. Larry Bird mm. fires away and Bird with 10 points is the game's high score. Kevin experience even Bird to uh, help his baby boy. Bird mm. he rocks to come out and then he nails it. And he, he went over to the bench. He said, hey, you know you can't put another white boy on me. Because I'm the fourth white boy in the league. You better put a brother on me. And I, I was like, what? What? Did he just see that? Too? The Lakers bench with all those guys sitting there. He's like, yeah, you know, you know, you can't put a white guy on me. You can't put a white guy on the NBA. You better put a brother on me. And I, I said, you know what? You know, he was right, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not only was Larry Bird the coldest white guy in the league, but he will forever remain the coldest white guy to ever play the sport of basketball. So anytime you even think about comparing another white player to Larry Legend, you got just coming. understand one thing. Larry Bird said that there will be another Larry Bird one day. That's a good one. And Larry, Larry never. There will never, ever, ever be another Larry Bird. You guys in the garden with a white guy? <laughs> <laughs> I looked over at Larry and go, dude, I'm just trying to make a living. <laughs> 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 he was unbelievable. He really was. Oh, man, that was a great uh, video by Prime Larry Bud, man. Hey, you already heard the video right here, man. Just don't put that, <laughs> don't put those type of people on Larry Bud. He was just so cold, man. Just the go to trash talking, man. Trash talking for days. Incredible shot. Incredible mind for the game, too, as well. Um... Could just get to any spot and um, make you pay. One of the highest winning percentages of all time in NBA history. Um, unbelievable. Saved the NBA along with Magic Johnson. Uh, wish she didn't get hurt early in this career. Wish she would have had like a 19, 20 year career. We would have had some stories for days. Stories for days, you know. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, man, uh, definitely comment down below your thoughts about this video. Make sure you uh, let me know what you want me to react to next. Make sure you subscribe to Instagram JP for more content. Like this video too as well. I'm JP. We'll see you in the next video.